Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, a plank of wood and we're not using any textures and the textures are made strictly by a principal BSDF and uh, we're going to be using a noise texture, color ramp, Ornoy, and a musgrave. So we're going to use a default cube, hit S, and we're going to scale on the X. And then we're going to scale on the Z to get our plank. And then we're going to add two loop cuts. And we're going to make one on the X and then on like so. Same thing here. And just to give it some variation, we're just going to change it up. And you can do it that way, like that. Okay. All right, so you should have something like, something like that. Okay. Now, we're going to go to Shader Editor. We're going to select our object, hit Uh, new material. I'm going to get rid of this one. Say new. And call it wood. <clears throat> and we're going to make a noise texture. We're going to take the displace and put it in the color. And then we're going to make a color ramp. We're going to place the color ramp in the subsurface color. And then we're going to need Voronoi. Whoops. Bornoy and then a musgrave. Okay. I'm going to take the factor, put it to the distance, and then a vector to the height. And we're going to bring the color in and make a color for your wood. So Make it a little bit lighter. Okay. So nothing's changed yet, right? Okay. Now We're going to take this color and make it brown, dark brown. And we're going to take this color and we could probably get away with that color. And then we're going to turn this into, oops, into distance edge. 
scale is um, is I think it's I think it's one um yeah this is one yeah and this is one scale on here is sixteen. Whoops, put the wrong thing in. Um, noise. Okay, there we go. So, this is 16. As you can see, you can start, we're starting to get some wood kind of texture going on. And distortion, we'll change it up and give you a nice wood looking texture. And we can bump up and we, I would personally this is more of like a painted kind of look. Uh, specular is a bit high. Roughness. Um, let's see. Roughness. Could probably bring to there. Might get away with that. Let's see what specularity does. Oh, that's too much. Um, don't need that. A little bit of sheen. And then scale will give you different things going on with the wood here, the wood texture. If you want to be, if you don't want it to be crazy, you can bring it down, bring it up. Kind of want to stay with that, I think. And this thing, this doesn't change here. It all goes along with the texture, which is nice. And can change distortion a little bit to get a little bit more wood green kind of look. Okay. And see something here. If I bring this up, Base color, there we go. And we tuck it into the base color, like so. Now you have your nice wood grain. And let's see, is there anything else I'm missing? Um, it really doesn't do much, so I'll just leave it on one detail, and that doesn't do much either. 
Okay, so we'll leave that all there. Constant, what's that do? Doesn't do much. Oh, I see what it did. Let's go back to linear. Now you can back this off so you get a bit more of that, but then I imagine what you could probably do is add another one in. And you can bring it there. That way you get a different texture. Um, where's the light? Let's turn that to a sun. Not 100 either. So let's make it a 3. And let's bring it up, down, and there you go. <coughs> that is your wooden texture without making any textures or getting any textures and just using procedural texturing. All right, uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, let's see, can I take a picture of that? There we go. So anyway, hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.